Revolut versus N26 versus Monzo complete comparison. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I'm going to be talking about Revolut versus Monzo versus N26, okay? Three of the most popular mobile banks today. But which offers the cus the greatest customer savings, okay? Because Revolut, Monzo, N26, all these three are perfect in their own way. And I'm going to be talking about all three of them and I'm going to be sharing a lot of great insight on all three of them. So please do make sure to fully watch this video all the way till the end so you can get the full context and detail about all these softwares, okay? So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, first of all, let's talk about Revolut, okay? Revolut obviously, you know, comes in the Challengers Bank category. Challengers Bank like Revolut, Monzo, and N26 are changing the face of banking, you know? These days, you can open a bank account simply by going on your smartphone or your PC or, you know, just going on their website. They offer high-quality apps, real-time payment information, and cheaper ways of sending and spending money abroad. These banks have brought in millions of customers and a whole lot more. So here we take a look at, you know, three of the biggest names in the industry and compare the actual benefits. So first of all, let's start off with Revolu. So Revolu has two basic uh, plans, personal and business. And in those two plans, they have a lot of things to offer. So the standard Revolu has $5.99 charges per car delivery. So the car delivery is $5.99. The delivery speed takes up to, you could say, uh, nine working days, something around that. And you can also add an in interest pretty easily. And the money sending is pretty easy. Just hit send, add the user, and the money is sent. They don't take a lot of uh, time in doing so. You can also work on different stocks and crypto, which is pretty incredible. So here you can see the free plan, the $2.99, $6.99, $12.99, $45. But obviously, if you want a card delivered to you, unlike Monzo and N26, N Revolut takes a fee for the cards, which is £5. And the delivery speed for the card can take up to 9 to 10 working days. And the payments are easy UK payments and can transfer money between 23 countries, which is amazing. Then the UK ATM withdrawals that you do in the United Kingdom, obviously, are £200 free monthly. So the first £200 that you, you know, transact, those are going to be for free. But obviously, any amount above than that, they're going to take a little bit of a tax or, you know, some amount they're going to cut off. Then there's spending insights, you know, which show spending by category, merchant, country, and month, okay? So the spending insight is also pretty incredible. And even in the personal account, you can see in the account, you can have joint accounts, savings. It's also good for freelancing. You can also have revenue for under 18 people, which parents and guardians can control for their little ones. Then there's daily finance, like cards, international transfers, Payments, linked accounts, budgeting, and analytics. Then there's a lot of portfolio things as well, like crypto, stocks, commodities, stays and experience, donations, help center, standard plus premium metal ultra compare plans, and a whole lot more. So you get the whole, you know, gist of it, whole point of it. Then comes, you know, categories where you can get 10 plus categories for yourself. You get direct debits, uh, where supported with both the UK account and the Euro IBAN account features. You can also add top ups like bank transfer longer terms. Users can pay in with the auto top up feature for themselves, and it sends real time transaction notifications with great security. The interest is pretty good, and overall, I would say it's a pretty good platform, okay? Then moving on to N26. N26 obviously is a bit newer and, uh, you know, as it's new, it has its perks, okay? So again, you have different accounts, standard, smart, U, metal, okay? And these have details like they could be business or standard. Again, the free charges is totally free if they have car delivery. The delivery speed, two to seven per working days. You can pay via bank transfer or send instantly to under Monzo account. UK ATM withdrawals, totally free. Spending insights is spending tracker provides a breakdown of how much you've spent and where. In the categories, you have 10 plus categories regularly updated in direct debits. Yes, future payments shown in home feed. You can also top up via bank transfer, standing order, or have salary paid in for yourself. You can also have a touch of button in app by freezing your card. You get great alerts. 
great security, the marketplace with eight savings accounts, both fixed rates and easy access for 500 pounds for minimum deposit and foreign ATM withdrawals are 200 pounds free monthly. Okay. And that's obviously for foreign 200 free monthly, but obviously above that would take more from you. So yeah, basically N26, pretty incredible. You know, he uses money being to transfer money instantly and his partner with TransferVise so can send money to 16 countries. Pretty incredible stuff. And then finally, you have Monzo. Okay, Monzo, again, free card delivery, delivery speed, five to seven working days, uh, pay via bank transfer or send instantly. Spending tracker provides a breakdown, templates categories, regularly updated, future payments shown in home feed, and a whole lot more. So you could say that Monzo is a lot like N26, and uh, basically all three of them have a very similar user interface and a user design. Uh, but obviously, when it comes to, you know, a more professional interface, you could say Revolu looks much more professional. But when it comes to ease of use, for ease of use, I would definitely go with Monzo. But when it comes with the proper feature analysis, then with features and the speed, I would go with N26. So it is a very difficult decision to take when it comes to, you know, discussing what's better, you know, Monzo, Revolu, or N26. Now, in the case of fees abroad, for those looking to send money abroad, these cards are all cheaper than traditional banks. You know, compare the exchange rates online and you can see a whole lot of different things. And, you know, applying for the actual MasterCard of N26 or Monzo, the rates are usually cheaper. So in terms of using your card abroad, their options are all pretty similar. However, the N26's basic account, you will be charged 1.7% to withdraw cash from an ATM abroad. Now, Revolu versus Monzo versus N26, the verdict. So given these challenger banks are closely competing with one another, it's hardly surprising that there's not much to split between them, you know? So all three offer slick apps with essentially the same features. These include transactional categories, real-time spending information, insights into your spending, and separate saving pots that you can squirrel your money away in. So if you're looking for a card which rounds up your spare change and puts it away to be saved, then Revolu and Monzo, who both offer this, are marginally ahead. There are a couple of differences between their fees and limits, which, depending on how and where you spend, might sway you. So N26 and Monzo offer fee-free ATM withdrawals for UK customers, taking out pounds, so if you often found, found yourself at the ATM, these could be for you. So yeah, however, Revolu also marks up in its exchange rates at weekends. So if you're on holiday on a Saturday and Sunday, it might be worth opting for Monzo or N26. So I'd say, in my opinion, to work with either go with N26 or Revolu. Monzo, although is good, but only for the user interface. N26 and Revolu for the features and speed. So yeah, uh, use both of these, you know, tell which one, you know, suits best for you. And let me know down in the comments below. Until then, that's pretty much all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video all the way till the end. If you did, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, because if you do that, that surely helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.